I have here what's called a tennis ball. Now on Earth, tennis is a game where we, you hit the ball. The point of the game is that you hit the ground on the other side of a net. And then you bounce it in just the right place and then the other people miss, then you get a point. But you need to hit it on the ground. There's no ground in outer space and there's no gravity to pull it down to the ground. So how do you play a game that needs a ground in space? Surely astronauts cannot play tennis in outer space. Hi, welcome to the International Space Station and welcome to the first tennis match in space. I'm here with my crew members, Ricky and Serena, and we're going to demonstrate tennis in space and we hope you enjoy it. The astronauts work hard, but they also like to have a lot of fun. They're all really good friends and like to play games together. They even play Earth games like tennis, but everything's a little different in outer space. On Earth, the gravity is always pulling the tennis ball back down to the ground. No matter how hard you're gonna hit a tennis ball, it always comes back down to the ground. But in microgravity, there's not enough gravity to pull the ball down. So the ball just goes straight. It'll keep going in a straight line forever until it hits something. These astronauts had to practice and learn how to hit a ball in space and make it go where they want to go. Who's going to win? Who do you think? And we're here today at the 2018 ISS Tennis Open with Commander Drew Feustel and Assistant Commander Ricky Arnold. It's assistant to the commander. Uh, the yes, I see. Really. <laughs> Congratulations on your win today, gentlemen. How do you feel? Uh, I feel good. I feel a little bit winded. Uh, it's a, it was a difficult match and playing in uh, microgravity is tough. Do you feel like all your long hours of preparation have paid off? Uh, I do. Uh, we practiced for weeks and weeks for this match and uh, we tried very hard to keep our fitness level up and uh, I think that was important today for the win. Playing tennis isn't the only thing that's different. Wow. So is that candy. Astronauts work hard throughout the day, but at the end of the day, they like to hang back, relax, and goof around. Space food. Space food. There's astronaut Dan making a candy sandwich. Astronaut Leland, let's see what he's up to. Well, he's got that water bubble. Now what is he going to do with that water bubble? What's going on? What are you doing? What's that M&M doing Can on see there? A surface one? That was a blue one. Two surface. It looks like they're orbiting around, floating on the surface of the bubble. That's gonna be a million. Oh, 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 oh. You just ate one. Knock one out. It's like, it's like, it's like, it's like uh, croquet. Or, uh, <laughs> billiards. Are right, you ready for separation? Wait, wait, wait. Separate. Oh, hold on, one more. Oh man. Dude. You got... Nice. Oh, nice. Curling. That's gonna Curling. be a meal, man. Yeah. You're gonna, that's two sips. <laughs> Oh, there you go. Yeah, no choke on it. Good blah blah. Go for it, L dog. You got, got it. it. Whoa, almost on the lens. <coughs> <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> Whoa, a flute. It's astronaut Katie. Astronauts like to play music on the space station too. Now I'm going to take you to one of the coolest places on the space station. It's like a glass bottom boat. This is the cupola. It stick, sticks down below the uh, space station. Uh, it's one of those places you find yourself hanging out in all the time because all you want to do is look back at our planet. I think some questions I had were about what do you do in your free time? And you can't help but want to just come to the cupola and, and look outside as much as you can. And a lot of folks. I, I play this game with myself about where we're flying over the Earth. I try to come in here and just guess. After being here for a little while, 
you can sort of figure it out. You can tell different cloud types over different continents. You can tell different soil types over different continents. So let's see. And then, of course, there's a lot of ocean. So usually we're over the ocean at first glance. I will tell you in just a moment where we are. Now we are right over Africa. It's a little bit cloudy, as you can tell, but we're right over the continent of Africa. Hey, what's that? I think that's a Soyuz spacecraft. That's the spacecraft that's taken us home to planet Earth today. Oh my gosh, we might have to go take a look at that. That's pretty cool. It's a little bit smaller than the rest of uh, the spacecraft, the space station, so you'll see um, if we get, go there, it'll be a little bit more cramped. Astronauts don't stay up in outer space forever. Eventually, they come down. But how do they come down? Do they jump out a window? Whoa! <laughs> do they skydive? Whoa! Well, that wouldn't be very smart because they're moving so fast, the International Space Station is moving so fast that if they were to jump down, they would burn up in the atmosphere from all the friction in the atmosphere. <sighs> I wouldn't want to burn up. So what do they do? Astronaut Sonny said something about the Soyuz. Let's find out in part eight. 